I can't believe Zyre Wade would post this on the Instagram, but this may be the beginning of the end for him. Now, a few people have been putting things in the comment section asking for an update on where Dwayne Wade's son, Zaire Wade, has been. It seems like this dude has fell off the face of the planet. Last time I heard, he was in the G League hooping, and then all of a sudden, we stopped hearing any news about him. Now, in my eyes, Zaire Wade is a prime example of someone who doesn't wait for their time to come and messes up the bag entirely, but we'll get into more of that later. Now initially we all remember Zaire Wade actually initially played basketball in Florida where he was averaging around 20 points per game and of course the son of an NBA player everyone was looking at him like this dude is going to be the next future superstar. You're averaging that many points man he is doing something right. Now he transferred to Sierra Canyon where the news blew up that he would be teaming up with Bronny James and that and that son duo right there was crazy just like the fathers LeBron and D Wade playing together but unfortunately I think this is where things kind of took a turn for the worst. Now Zaire Wade did get injured at one point in this school and he wasn't even averaging 5 points per game. The coach was really not giving him much playing time at all and the commentators just seemed like this was not the right place for Z Wade. Now of course he had games where he did play well and get in there but man it just kind of seemed like things were low key falling apart and his father was even mad and got mad at the coaching staff for not playing Zaire Wade. But at the end of the day, we have to remember how much competition was on Sierra Canyon. They got a ton of five-star recruits, and Z Zaire Wade was only a three-star recruit at the time. I think it's just natural that these five-star guys like Brandon Boston, I think Amari Bailey might have been on the team at the time as well, are going to play over him. Now, of course, he decided to go after he graduated from Sierra Canyon, go to Brewster Academy, a prep school, try to train there, work on his game, and try to make it to the next level. And then, unfortunately, this is where things went dark. Now, Zaire Wade, of course, as we all remember, decided to go to the G League, where, of course, his father was part owner and kind of finessed him in to that position he played there where honestly his numbers were not looking good at all now bro was getting minutes a lot of people think he was not even playing in the g league but he was getting around 19 minutes per game but only averaging two points now i gotta be honest man that is sorry production i'm gonna just call it how it is because we have to be honest here you're not making it to the next level with numbers like that now, if you do like these types of videos, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 14K subs by the end of the year. Now, of course, I know he was super disappointed in this type of production, and he had games where, yes, he did play well, but overall, I think it was just not a positive season for him and kind of clearly showed he made a huge mistake in moving too fast and trying to get to the NBA, trying to get to a bag when clearly he should have went to college. Now, I can't believe Zaire Wade would post this on the Instagram, but this may be the beginning of the end for him. Now, he actually posted this video on his Instagram showing him at University of Miami hooping. Now, yes, he used to live in Florida, and I believe he may have trained here in the past. Now, of course, this is kind of weird because we haven't seen Zaire hoop anywhere besides open gyms and with trainers. And when you're just hooping there, how could this be your main thing? At this point, he posts even more about his clothing brand and all that other stuff and maybe even his girl more than he does basketball at this point, which is just like, what is going on? Does he actually have a future in basketball or is he just putting on for the cameras? Now, in my opinion, I think Z-Wade just needs more development. We all know if he probably would have went to college, he would have got those game reps to continue to work on his game, continue to get better, and actually train against people who are going to be in the future in the NBA. And when you skip out on these sort of things in that development, obviously when you get to the next level, it's going to look like you're just completely unprepared, which is exactly what happened to him. He went out there and pretty much could not handle the NBA G League type of game, the pace and the overall style, just because he jumped the gun and tried to go to the NBA. Now, a lot of people are blaming D Wade for part of this entire situation 
because we know number one, of course, he is influencing a lot of his decisions in his basketball career. D Wade is a legend, so of course, he is going to have some say over Zaire Wade's basketball career. Now, in my opinion, I'm kind of surprised that he pushed him or even agreed with him to going to the G League instead of trying to influence him to go to college. And we all know D Wade was a late bloomer in basketball. It took him a minute to really be able to get on. He went and played at Marquette, but it did take him a minute to really adjust to the game warm up. And you see, once he put in the time, put in the effort to try to get better, man, he was clearly there and was ready to go at the next level. Now, of course, Zaire Wade is not the only NBA player's son that is facing issues. You got people like Sharif O'Neal, who of course, we're not gonna ignore the fact that he did have heart surgery, but definitely struggled in college and is now in the G League trying to make it forward, trying to move forward and actually play in the NBA. And then you even got people like Bronny James, of course, getting a ton of ridicule. But you see, he was not the be he was not hooping the best when he was a freshman and really started to warm up and develop and is playing much better his senior year. Now, everyone's time frame is different. And I think that's one of the biggest things that we have to keep in mind for Zaire Wade. Now, one of the biggest problems with this is, of course, his age. You're just going to keep getting older and older. And sometimes NBA teams are definitely not going to want to take a chance on you if you're super old. A lot of times they will like younger guys that they can draft or bring in the NBA because they have a lot of potential. And of course, they have that longevity to be with a team. Now, I think we're going to see Zaire Wade for a long time just training and not really playing anywhere until he really can establish his game, get a tighter handle, better jump shot, and overall just a better build for the NBA. This dude is not weighing much at all, standing at around, I believe, 6'1 or 6'2. But I do think that there is potential that he could play somewhere overseas. Now, yes, he did not play well in the G League, but I don't think that necessarily means it's 100% the end of his career. For sure, if you get better and work on your game, there are plenty of shorter guys average to NBA height that are able to go out there and still produce and get buckets and play at the next level. So low key, I think that the best option for Z Wade right now would be to go overseas, get some in-game reps, play their train, get better. And once you're able to try to transition to the G League or even the NBA, if that even is a possibility. Now, I think the biggest lesson we can take away from this is the fact that nepotism does not always work well. For Z Wade, of course, Dwayne Wade wanted to guide him and make an easy path for him towards the next level. But by making things way too easy for Zaire Wade, it just made this a catastrophe. And I think what a lot of people are forgetting is just how bad his numbers were in the G League. Averaging two points and shooting 20 something percent in the G League when you're averaging like 19 minutes a game is actually insane. I did not know bro was this bad. No disrespect to D Wade. Man, he's saying nepotism is crazy, and clearly I'm telling you, it does not always work well. It can work well, and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting your son to have better and have an easy path for him. But clearly in this case overall, I just got to be honest, man, things backfired completely. Now, is Zaire Wade's career completely over? I'm going to be honest and just say no, it's not. But it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of improvement if he wants to play somewhere moving forward. I definitely think you have to kind of tuck in that ego and not just say, oh, I'm trying to go to the NBA. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to play in the G League. Man, you kind of have to think about this logic. Logically, and honestly, low key, I would take whoever team wants me at this point and just try to play somewhere so I can get my feet in the water and then try to transition, or at least I'm just getting a bag there. Now, did you know Mikey Williams just shut up everyone who is criticizing and calling him overrated after this recent game? Well, click this video on the screen because he just destroyed this four star recruit and is looking very impressive.